We got two new sets, I guess, sets of uniforms here to look at tonight. Um, Kate joining me back. Love the shirt, by the way. Thank you. Appreciate it. Very clean. Yep. Uh, the first mm. look, we got actually three different looks from this squad, Division Two squad down in Texas. We talked about them on last week's episode. They have the youngest coordinator in college football. Yeah, I saw. I, I watched that, actually. Pretty sweet stuff down there at UTPB. Check out these unis. This is the first of the three combos to take a look at the whites, which are just so clean. Get the Lone Star uh, Conference Championship trophy helps, right? That makes it look pretty sweet. Yeah, uh, I think first 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 glance is giving off Denver Broncos. Really? Yeah. Just cause I'm, if I'm not wrong, I think the Broncos got New Jersey this year too. Yeah. And because everyone was mad they didn't go throwback, right? Yeah, and everything's just so modernized, like it's all the same. <laughs> that is kind of the, the biggest critique. I think the biggest example, the greatest example of that is TCU. Yeah. They even got rid of like the horned like uh well, collars they, they and wore all like that stuff. A, they wore like a, a green they were like green in basketball this year. <clears throat> TCU was? Yeah. Are you serious? I gotta pull it up. Because TCU, their football uniforms sucked. Then you look at a team like they have cool. They used to have cool ass unis too. It was black with the with mm-hmm. the. Uh, that's what orange. I'm talking about. Those yeah. col- the collars like that's that's what those were really sweet. And then there were a couple. There were a couple other schools too. I think Baylor. You look at Baylor. I think is a great example. Baylor's uniforms might be the most plain uniforms in college yeah. football. And they got they got a cool. Uh, they got a cool like color combo too. Like they could be so good. They could, but the thing is like everything's going so minimal and like I guess modern is the word, but like minimalistic is kind of the the thing. Maybe but looking at TCU. these uniforms, these are nice cuz I think they still have some good <clears throat> character to them. Yeah, actually I was thinking Denver, but in my head I was really saying Bowling Green. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I can see the Bowling Green for sure. I like this. I like the metal yeah, kind of great around the numbers. Yeah, it's like Eastern like EMU's yeah, yeah. logo. Because this is like this is like a good blend of like you have the minimal, the modern shit, but it's also the like there's a little bit of character, yeah. a little bit of I, th- I like them a lot. Like I think they're it's a really hard to mess up a white jersey though. It also is, especially with orange. I feel like it's kind of a layup, but also a, a cool I, th- I guess part of it. Look at the helmet stripe. Yeah, that's it, cool. the black on the sides tapers into the orange. Yeah, that's nice. I actually can't say I've seen that before. Yeah, that's definitely like details that, that people just weren't doing. You know, with ten. Even five years ago. I was saying probably. definitely not even five years ago. I gotta find that shit. That is sick. That's a sweet shot right there. Those gloves are sweet. Yeah, that's Those, sweet. That matches pretty well. So that's the first look. Take a look at these, Cade. The black helmet with the orange uni. Same. So you'll notice the same details on the helmet stripe, though. Right? The, those whites kind of taper. Yeah, that was, I like these a lot. Cool. Love that logo front and center on the back. This is even a little more like a minimal jersey, but you still have the stripes in the shoulders. And I like, look on the pants, you see the basin yeah, down the cool. pant leg. Reminds me of uh, Louisiana, the Cajuns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Raging Cajun on the side of their pants. Oh, that is cool. I like yeah, I'm just rattling off different teams that it reminds me of. But like, yeah. it's not. But it's their own. They made, like, I think that's what you always they do with took new jerseys, that. though. Yeah. Like, they, who, do they, who do they remind you of? Or, like, who do they? They took that, though, and they kind of put their own, you know, they put their own deal on it, put their own spin on it. Um, But these are, I, I really like these. Couple more here. There's your like shoulder stripe, super minimal, but like ads. yeah, that's really Broncos, bro. Yeah, that is that one right there is. And that's these are Broncos. Adidas unis. I don't know the other one. I don't know the other set might not be, but that's yeah. that's a little more plain. It also is worth noting though, like good photography makes any jersey look good, right? For sure. Yeah. Like these are just good photos, and I don't think that can be overstated. And that like that makes these look just so much better. I mean, um, I guess ugh, it's pretty similar, dude. Talking what Broncos? Yeah. But I mean, I don't know. It's yeah. it's like it's really similar. These are the last couple of looks that they. Oh, I mean, they posted. A yeah, lot, these are definitely cool. I like them a lot for sure. Yep. There's your simple kind of arm deal. Same yeah. deal on the back, but the orange on orange. Yeah, the black. I mean, the black helmets are are super sweet. So big fan of those. Um, they got a lot yeah, going on down cool. there. They're gonna. They're poised to have another big year. They do lose some pieces. Uh, Hershner being being one of those guys. But we'll flip over to a team that you are quite familiar with, in St. Ambrose. And the oh, yeah. uniforms that uh, that they brought out, and I want to talk about these because uh, another kind of unique piece on these, what jumped out right away. One, yeah, the baby blue is sick. How about the honeycomb stripe down the front yeah. of the helmet? I don't know how I feel about it. It's it's very unique and it's cool, but I don't I don't know. I was I was a little torn. I that, love that was, the baby blue though. Yeah, like it's like uh, like it's so UNC. But I mean, that's where your mind goes I think, to immediately. I think yeah. that the stripe is dope. I love the stripe. I also think, and again, this could just be lighting, photography, whatever. I think their blue is different. 
Yeah. Right? Like, like, like definitely different. It's like a lighter baby blue. It is. It's not quite as, I don't know. I almost went to face. St. Ambrose. That's what I was saying. That's why I mentioned I it I actually before. love it. I actually loved it there. Yeah. It's a, I thought it was a great place. Mm-hmm. I could, the, uh, I could be rocking a baby blue fighting bees jersey right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those are sweet though. Like they're I mean, very good. They've got a lot of attention too on Twitter and shit. So like, it's not like like people. A lot of people. A lot mm-hmm. of people posted these. A good ball over there. The blue visor too with that. They got like a, like a tent on that. Right? Yeah, that's cool. Which probably Sick. that can't be allowed, right? No, definitely not. No. <laughs> those are uh, those are sweet. Those are a couple more. I got more pictures. Like for the you. month of August, it's allowed because there's no yeah. <laughs> games and then exactly. That's that's pretty sweet. Yeah, those are those are clean. I yeah. like those a lot. So he's okay. Now we go to the fact of like we do these jersey shoots. There is no way you could get away with wearing this in a game. He's wearing glorified like, bro, people long do, underwear, dude. I promise they do in a game. Yes, he doesn't even have thigh pads or anything of the sort, bro. I promise you. There's I, no way. I, I've seen it with my own two eyes, dude. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I know there's a ton of guys that get away with the no knee pads thing. That's yeah. is what it is. It's your own choice, right? But most guys at least have like the girdle with the thigh pads inset underneath, right? Bro, it's all it's all receivers and DBs. Like, I mean, a lot of uh, I'll probably say like half the receivers I lined up against last year did not have obviously didn't have any knee pads in. That's probably like seventy five percent of them. Yeah. But fifty percent of them didn't have any pads whatsoever. Bro, that's crazy to me. I don't like like. And the, if there again, was, it was literally like a circle like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just so you could see it, like a pad because it was technically there. Yeah. Because they probably got harped on it before. And no, every year, bro. Every year they say like, the refs will come in and like talk to us before the season starts. Like, hey, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna nail down on you guys. You know, and they just not do having shit. your jersey tucked in or like, like I'm more mouth guard. I mean, I shouldn't probably didn't say that, but like, <laughs> I'm more mouth guard since I played. Like, I've, that's crazy to me too. But like, they always say like you better have a mouth guard. And like, I'll hear it again in a month. Like, if you don't have yeah. a mouth guard, you're not playing. And I'll do you fuck up your teeth. And I'll. S- Put one into my my helmet for the month of August, and then once it comes around, just yank it out. And Jesus. That's crazy like, that's, to me. That's normal. Like I, prom- I mean, not like that. Like I know, yeah. Like they're not out there in booty shorts, but like that 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 was the crazy. Like it's that yeah. you're not trying to hide it at all, and there's yeah. literally no- they definitely like, try to hide it like you t- during a yeah, game, hundred percent. But you take a hit with this fit on right now, you're done. You take a like a nice yeah. hit with this fit on right now, you have literally no protection on any part of your legs, and like. Not saying your legs just gonna snap, but like that's exactly how you get like a weird little Charlie horse, something that's gonna keep you out of a game for. No, yeah, you know, I mean it's long risky enough. biz. Yeah, it's risky biz for sure. <laughs> Depends on who you got patrol in the middle of the field, I guess. Yeah, here's another one for you. I like these stripes. Yeah, they got a, they got the a good way. setup. I like what really they do. like those stripes, and I, I like they how they didn't feel the need to go one in the middle and two on the sides. Like mm-hmm. it, it, it mirrors right the shoulder to the leg right there. The way that like matches. I forgot up. what coach actually recruited me. I, I wonder if they're still there. I wonder if that coaching staff's still there. You have to look. I don't know. It's top of my top of my head, but that uh, I like how it like not, not mirrors is not the right word, but you know it's like on the top and the bottom there is the same. It's really yeah, nice. No, yeah, so I like the, it. It's cool. They're the fighting bees. Yeah, it's kind of sick. They have a really nice campus. Yeah, there's a last one for you. It's in, I'm pretty sure it's in Iowa. It is. Yeah, but clean looks, clean looks all around. Yeah, big time moves. Sweet. Like Thanks, eight, Jade. eight five. Eight, wait, okay, wait. These are this is an eight five. I give these eight five. I probably go eight five. That's pretty high. Well, I mean, baby blue though. Like it's just so yeah. unique. Like I don't think you can really like again. You can't really f up a baby blues. Yeah. Like I same think, with same with whites. Like I yeah. give I give UTPB right UTPB UTPB U- University that, of Texas at Permian Basin. Permian Basin. Yeah, yeah. Permian Basin. I'd give that like a seven two. Really. Like I like their unis, but like it, everything. I like, like the whites more than I like the other. Yeah, and everything like just blended together nice, which again is not, it's pretty hard to fuck up. It is. But, <laughs> like I don't know, seven two eight five. Hurry here first. Those are the rankings. One bite. Yeah. Thanks, Kate. <laughs>